Hey guys, what's up? It's 360 Mods and Hacks here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a little tutorial on flashing XGD3 games. Now, this is just with a iHash drive or compatible stock uh, drives that come with uh, capable burning of the Burner Max firmware onto the drive. Um, light on, as you know, uh, the 124, 224, 324, 524, and 624 with a B chipset, uh, you'll be good to go on flashing the Burner Max Payload Tool firmware already onto it, so you don't have to load it. It's just a lot simpler. So, if you have your light on plugged in to your computer, right, the best settings for image burn, which this is all you need to do, there's no settings you need to do with ABGX360, you open up image burn and you go to mode actually you go to tools sorry and then settings okay and then you're gonna go to the right tab now this perform OPC before right this one can be very tricky okay this one you're only going to enable if you have the MK0300 discs I think they are by checking that you can click right to disk under mode you click right and it'll show you it'll say MID and then it'll say MKM 00100 that is the 4 or the 2.4x discs now the i think it's the 4x the 8x are most common in the 5 pack one that you buy with the cases on them and it'll say uh MKM 003 and then 00 now, if you do have the 300, you're going to go to one of Tools, Settings, Write, Perform OPC before Write, and you're going to want to make sure. Other than that, um, just take a second, pause the video, and enable all these settings on here. Most of these come stock, so you shouldn't have to change very many of them um, as far as that goes. This kind of is just a really basic tutorial on getting people to help burn with a you know, GTA 5 and other games that are XGD3 that are tricky, like Forza Motorsport or Forza Horizon, stuff like that. Um, as far as that goes, um, the I.O. tab should look exactly like this. Make sure you don't change anything about that. Um, just make sure it looks everything like it. But on page 2, we're going to need to change the buffer size. Um, enable buffer recovery should be checked. And you should change your buffer size, you know, as, as good as it can go, really. Mine's uh, 1,024. So, I mean, most people, I've seen them set it, you know, 800. But that's just a safe zone. Try to put it all the way up. Uh, when you set your buffer size, uh, make sure to close all unnecessary programs, such as, like, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, um, as far as ABGX360, Skype. Uh, make sure all your torrent browsers and stuff are on. Um, the easiest way to check if all of your programs are closed is click show hidden icons. And then that's your programs will be here. Obviously, I'm about to burn a game. So um, that's, you know, as clean as I can get it right there. Just stupid Windows updates, which uh, y'all usually see me on Windows 8. You know, I like to have a fresh OS to burn games on. So this is why I do that. Alright, so as far as that goes, enable that all the way up, press OK. And then you'll see at the right part of image burn, you'll see this little gear with the check mark on it. It says change advanced settings. Alright, now it's already detected my drive. It's already in, so it's good. You're going to click light on, and then you're going to change all these settings. Force hyper tuning. You're going to click Enabled, Change, Online Hypertuning, Enabled, Change, Overspeed. Now, Overspeed is not the same as Overburn. I mean, I got that kind of confused when it uh, came disabled. I was like, that's very interesting. Um, overburn is what the Burner Max Payload tool already does. So you're going to go ahead and disable Overspeed which is default smart burn you're gonna click enabled and then clear OPC history I just left mine at NA uh, you know just like I said if your discs 
are the um, uh, MK00300 instead of the 100, then go ahead and click clear, but make sure to turn it back at the very end. Alright, and then uh, if you flash your drive and you did all that and you're just looking up this video, um, 8.7 should be the available bytes, and that's without running burner max or anything like that. Um, as far as flashing your drive goes, um, I'm not going to provide any information on that really because there's plenty of videos to help you get started on that one, but I haven't seen a lot of videos on people getting correct settings for the um, iHaz settings in the image burn, of course. So once all that's good, just click burn, burn your ISO, and it should check out. Now I'm also going to show you a way to um, check your games. Um, we're going to go here and, sorry, we're going to go here under input. It'll say burned DVD. Now, let me throw a DVD in there that is bad so y'all can see. Holy shit, I have so many of them. Okay. Oh, almost through. A good disc in with the bad discs. Okay. So, under burn DVD, let me wait till this screen pops up, if it, if it even does. Oh, yeah, it does. Very interesting. Okay. So, input, burn DVD, launch. That is a bad disc, <laughs> as you can clearly see. Um, a good disc would show everything uh, good, and it would be checking everything. The CRC should match and everything like that. But just like I said, this is a bad disc. Um, so, like I said, don't uh, play this online. It could not be safe because uh, the video CRC checks do have a lot of security sectors in them. And obviously you see at the very bottom under or above press any key to exit it says stealth check failed. So that's probably not good to play online. So make sure not to do that. Um, now, where, big question, where can I get a drive? Well, a buddy of mine on YouTube uh, messaged me about two weeks ago. He said, I'm going to try this drive out. I saw it on a form that says it works. And I thought I'd look it up after he said that it works. So I appreciate you for... Uh, you know, giving me feedback on that, and I'll put your uh, YouTube in there in the description, so go ahead and ask him any questions if you decide to purchase this drive. Now, what's the benefit of purchasing this drive over the iHaz 124B? This price right here is $34.99, and the iHaz goes up to about eh, 50 60 bucks. so you're going to save a little bit of money. Um... As far as this one goes, it supports everything. Um, I was reading it down here, and it says DVD plus RDL overburn can extend the listed capacity from 8.5 gigabytes up to 8.7 gigabytes to allow the user to capture more content on a single DVD plus RDL disc. So that's what you're going to want to, you know, obviously have is get from 8.5 to 8.7. And this drive supposedly does this. Um, if you don't want to purchase this drive and you want to go straight for the iHaz, you know, for the settings and everything like that that I was showing you, um, you can find some of them on eBay. Now, these are tricky. You know, you see this 4886. Um, obviously, this is going to take quite a while to get in here, um, into the country, I should say. And I don't buy anything outside the U.S., you know. So, that's just how I am. I'm picky. Um, as far as drives go, they're all about the same on here. Um, I actually think I bought one from this dude. Um, yes, actually I did. Uh, he might have already sold all of his drives. Yeah, he sold all of his light-on drives. So all he has is, um, like I said, the stock ones that we were looking at earlier. But it's uh, light-on I has 124B upgraded to a 524B. So he posts on here, you know, um, you get everything you basically want with this drive. It is a 524B, so it's pretty cool um, to buy the verbatim DVDs and start using this ready-to-go drive. <laughs> kind of ironic.
Chronic. So I like him. He uh, shipped it, got to me in like three days. So I recommend him, you know, buying it. He even posts on here his uh, pictures. As you can see, that was exactly my screen right there uh, with the 8.7 free space. Um, he's got it even up here. It says, I has 124. I has 524, sorry, uh, B. So that's what you want to get. Um, it's a pretty good drive, I'm not going to lie. So this obviously works too. You know, it depends which one you want to go with. Uh, and you get a SATA cable on this end, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, guys, if you have any questions, comment, or uh, add me on Skype. It's D-O-P-E-W-A-F-F-L-3, all one word. And I'll help you out. You know, I'll help you out if you need any advice or anything like that. Um, all right, my guys. Peace out.